Hey, John from Mighty here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use custom code within Rise using the Mighty Chrome extension. This is a super powerful feature that allows you to add random CSS to your course based on just like random styling changes that maybe you wanna make. Uh, or if you wanna add any sort of custom JavaScript, how you'd go about doing that. A lot of people historically have just been doing this after the fact with their published course. They would unpack the zip, go to their index HTML file and update some line to add the CSS or JavaScript. But now you can actually just do that right in Rise using this mighty Chrome extension. So let's dive in and I'll show you how it works. All right, so where you will find the custom code options are under the theme tab. It'll work for both micro learning and normal courses. So you just go right under theme. You'll see this custom code option. And once you're in custom code, there's a couple of things that I want to call out. So first of all, on the right hand side here, this is just an iframed version of your course preview. So an iframe is just a way for you to be able to have a website kind of within a website page. So that's essentially all that's happening over here. And once we're in our course, like let's say we dive into this lesson, you're gonna notice these block IDs are being called out for you to be able to leverage when you're inside of the custom code section. So they'll only show inside of a lesson. And then these custom block IDs, what these are related to is when you're building out your course in Rise, each thing that you drop into your course that you're creating content in, those are called blocks. And these are the identifiers specific for those blocks themselves for you to be able to kind of narrow in on your CSS or JavaScript to a specific block. Because there might be changes that you want to make, and I'll walk through a couple of those as an example, that is specific for one block, but you don't want to apply to every block. Now, there may be situations where you want to apply all those changes to every block. Like let's say you're going and just updating all of your H1 tags that happen in Rise to be some sort of different setting. You could totally do that and not be block specific, but that's what these block identifiers are used for. And if we look a little bit further, I'm just gonna right click and inspect this frame. Again, we're in an iframe. This will load up a code uh, and all of this code you'll see right here in the HTML. These block IDs are at the top level of where each block starts. So when it comes to CSS selectors or JavaScript selectors, you'll want to be able to leverage that block ID to isolate anything you're trying to change deep inside of that block itself. So that's a little bit of a tidbit on how this custom code works. Now let's just walk through a couple of examples of various fun things that you can change. So here's an example of something that was brought to our attention that someone wanted to change. We don't necessarily have a mod to do this and it's not built into Rise. But again, you've got full CSS and JavaScript control and they wanted to change specifically the avatar name of, or the author name of who shows up as publishing your course. Their situation is that they've got a course that they work with a subject matter expert on and when they publish the course, they want that person to be the author, not necessarily themselves who has a Rise account. So what you could do for that is just write in CSS and I'll show you exactly how I get there, is if you right click on my author name that shows up here on the cover page, uh, you will be able to see based on all of these CSS selectors, maybe right here is a good spot to put it. So like this name that shows up here for me shows up in this div class of cover header content author's name. So if I were to go and target that CSS selector, it would find you know anyone where that situation shows up. And then what I can do is I could update this span's content with different content, all actually via CSS, which is kind of fun. So I've already pasted in some examples or copied some examples. And so I'll just paste that in and then we'll run this. And now what you'll see here is instead of my avatar and my name, I put a different image in with a different name. So again, all of that is done by just targeting down to this content author uh, CSS class. And then what you can do is you can change the content itself using CSS. So 
we can kind of just hide the normal name itself and then create a new text block in there with that person's name based on you wanting to replace that. So you could definitely do that. And then I also updated here in this situation, the avatar. So again, right click on the image itself. You'll see that this cover header content authors avatar, we can just set that style background from what normally rise sets as, you know, our rise um, cover page or our author uh, image. And we can replace that with really any image in the world. Um, if you wanted to be able to keep that image local, you could certainly replace it with like a local reference to the image in your zip file. Uh, or it's just easier to have like a publicly accessible avatar that sits out on the web. And then you could just grab that URL and drop it in there. But a lot of this is just done through normal CSS JavaScript selectors. If you're not super familiar with JavaScript or CSS, there's tons of tutorials online. ChatGPT or the GPTs in general out there can certainly help you figure out how to learn all the CSS and JavaScript selector stuff. Um, or you can join our Mighty community, uh, I'm usually in there. And if you've got any questions, I can jump in and quickly help you get to the right CSS selectors of what you're trying to do. Makes it super fast and easy. So that's number one option that you can do uh, in here. I'm gonna show you another option now actually leveraging JavaScript. All right, so first we're gonna expand up this JavaScript section. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste in some code and we're gonna talk through what this does. And what you'll see is kind of a really silly, fun example of how you could really use JavaScript for anything. But in this situation, we are gonna just drop confetti as soon as your learner opens your course. And it's just kind of a fun celebratory New Year's as we roll into our New Year's here at Maestro. And this just shows you again a little bit of the power of anything that you could really do inside of your course. So first we're going to just add some JavaScript that is just an open source JavaScript library. It's a canvas confetti. And we're gonna just add this to the document body. So again, you can create your script element, set that source, add that to your body of your course. Then we're going to create this confetti function and in here, by the way, I use ChatGPT to write all of this. Uh, it's going to just after uh, a couple of seconds, I'm going to move this out of the way. After three seconds, we are going to, for five seconds, animate all sorts of fun confetti with different colors that I'm using. And this is just going to run using this confetti library. And once it's done, it'll just stop. So we're gonna go ahead and hit run on this. And there it is. There's our fun confetti happening on our course. So really any JavaScript, obviously this is a very silly example, but there's tons of good use cases for using JavaScript. And over time, I'll continue to add more and more fun videos of examples that you guys have brought up in the community that you wanted to see us do with that custom code option. So there's a couple of fun examples on how you can leverage custom code within Rise using the Mighty Chrome extension. Again, you'll need the Mighty Chrome extension installed to do that. If you do run into any issues trying to figure out some JavaScript or some CSS, please just jump into our community and ping me in there and I'll jump in and help answer any questions that you've got. If you like this content and want to see more fun custom examples of CSS, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks.